The state of Mississippi has been at a higher risk today than usual for dangerous wildfires. WTVA's Ethan Foster is live in Monroe County to share with us why that is. Well, right now I'm here in Hamilton, one of just a few rural communities here in Monroe County that today, like you heard Matt say just a few minutes ago, all across the state, starting fires, burning is strongly discouraged. And here's why. Earlier today, Captain Wes Mims with Columbus Fire and Rescue told me that the alerts issued by the National Weather Service in Jackson and Memphis are serious. They're sent out when weather conditions indicate that wildfires could spread rapidly and more easily than usual. Usually when they issue those warnings, it's usually because the wind's up. Uh, today we've got real low humidity, which helps dry things out. Uh, embers from a fire, if you're burning leaves in your yard, can carry a long way. Once they hit dry roughage it's, and the wind's blowing, it's real easy to start a bigger fire. Now, as you can see behind me, this clearly a lot of grass out here, a lot of hay. And that means there's going to be a lot of this, a lot of dead grass. Just some of that roughage that you heard him mention. Pine straw, also a big candidate when it comes to fire starting, especially on days like today with that low humidity and those high winds. So, of course, that... That uh, fire watch, that fire weather watch is in effect until 8 o'clock tonight. So again, don't be starting any fires that you don't need to be starting. Just be smart, be safe until conditions get a little bit better for those activities as that winter weather starts coming in. It gets a little bit colder. But coming up at 6, I'll be looking at how a volunteer firefighter shortage is actually impacting how local departments are responding to these fires when they do happen. Until then, reporting live here from the woods in Hamilton, I'm Ethan Foster for WTVA 9 News.